we've reached a point in the pandemic where I don't necessarily feel as if these sorts of studies, ones that I'm going to talk about today, are necessary because it's just kind of common sense at this point. We don't need more studies to confirm what was already common sense to most people, but here we are. Another study was released confirming that masks do indeed help to reduce the transmission of COVID-19 in schools. So Lee Cohen of CBS News explains the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released new studies Friday that show enforcing masks in schools helps reduce the spread of COVID-19. Shocking. One study looked at data from schools in Arizona's Maricopa and Pima counties after they resumed in-person learning in late July for the 2021-22 academic year. The two counties account for roughly 75 percent of the state's population. The CDC found that the K-12 through schools that did not have mask requirements at the beginning of the school year were 3.5 times more likely to have COVID outbreaks than schools that required all people, regardless of vaccination status, to wear a mask indoors from the first day of school. Of the 999 schools analyzed in the study, 21% had an early mask requirement, 30.9% enacted a mask requirement between 9 and 17 days after the school year began, and 48% had no mask requirement. Of the 191 COVID outbreaks that occurred in those schools from July 15th to August 31st, 113 were in schools that did not enforce masks at all. Schools with early mask requirements had the lowest number of outbreaks. During that time frame, Arizona was experiencing an upward trend of weekly COVID cases, according to Johns Hopkins University. So this isn't too surprising to me, but I've seen people take studies like this and misconstrue the data in order to fit their anti-mask narratives. They'll say, well, look, this study proves that masks, even if they're instituted, there's still COVID-19 outbreaks, but they don't tell you the real conclusion that masks help to reduce the spread of COVID-19. They make outbreaks less likely. So masks obviously are important at schools. And if you're one of those weird anti-mask parents who thinks it's child abuse to have your parents have masks or to have your kids wear masks, then you're deranged. Because what's worse for your child, having to wear masks and the inconveniences that come with that, or have your kid contract COVID-19 or bring it home to a loved one? I just, I don't get the outrage when it comes to masks. It's a piece of cloth and you don't have to make it this negative experience for your child. Get them a Ninja Turtles mask or a Paw Patrol mask, whatever the fuck kids like. Get them one of those, make it a fun thing, stop fear-mongering to them, and they will comply. Like, it's not that big of a deal. And there's another study that confirms the same thing that this last study confirmed. Another study from the CDC looked at the impact of school mask mandates across the U.S. Authors looked at data from 520 counties that started school between July 1st and September 4th this year and had at least a full week of case data from the school year. They only looked at counties where all the schools had the same mask policies. Of the 520 counties, 198 had a school mask requirement and 322 did not. Researchers found that counties that had no mask requirements in their schools had a higher rate of pediatric COVID cases after the school year began than those schools that did have requirements. Schools that required masks, the study found, had 16.32 cases per 100,000 children in the first week of classes. Schools without had 34.85 cases per 100,000 children. Authors did note, however, that all children in the counties were included in the data and not just those who are school age. They also noted that teacher vaccination rates and school testing data were not controlled in the analyses and that the sample size of counties is small. In both studies, authors reiterated that consistent and correct mask use is a critical strategy from preventing the spread of COVID-19. Teenagers have recently made up the majority of weekly cases, according to the CDC, with elderly adults making up some of the lowest numbers of weekly cases. So based on this data, I think it is easy to conclude that when you see states like Texas, like Florida, banned school districts from instituting their own mask mandates, that is literally child endangerment. You are literally statistically making it more likely that your child will get infected with COVID-19. With COVID and they're doing all of this not necessarily because they have some skewed study that they're citing. They're just playing political games with your child. They're endangering your child's life for purposes of political expediency to score some political points. If, you know, Ron DeSantis, for example, runs in 2024, he could say, I shunned the liberal elites who wanted my kids to wear masks and your kids to wear masks. And I was for freedom. Like, that's all that this is about. They don't actually care about the lives that they're putting in jeopardy 
They just care about themselves. Statistically speaking, masks help reduce the transmission of COVID-19. And if you're one of the parents who are against this, you're just stupid. You're just a bad parent. Now, thankfully, most parents, as the CBS News poll states, do support mask mandates. But still, I mean, 42% of parents believe that masks should either be optional or not allowed. And these both you know, yield the same results. So, I mean, there's a lot of parents who are either purposefully advocating for child endangerment or they're misinformed. Either way, it's a distinction without a difference. Masks work. And we have another study which confirms, yes, obviously they work. It's not a foolproof strategy, right? Masks have to be worn correctly, as the study's uh, authors state, but it, it works. It helps. So, put on a mask and stop trying to spread misinformation about masks if you're one of the people who are indeed doing this. And I just have to add that um, if you know anyone who is an anti-masker, I think that this viral video is probably the best way to respond to these dipshits. I, I view this as more of an instruction video, not necessarily for entertainment, but instruction as to how you should treat anti-maskers who are the dumbest people in society. Dude, anybody that wears a mask is a traitor to the United States. What the fuck are you talking about, You're bro? a traitor to freedom across the world. People are not Dude, comfortable kids, talking to you if you look, don't have a mask look, on. It's kids, my job. Look, kids get expelled from school if they don't wear a mask. I that's, don't give a shit. I'm not in school. That's tyranny, dude. They're abusing little kids. So you're enabling that, bro. Whatever, bro. I'm how ready how for does your it name. feel? How does it feel to be a tyrant, bro? Hey, bro, don't walk away. I need your name. You can either delete that video. Or you could okay, donate so this, fifty dollars. This guy's triggered because because I. This guy's him. triggered because because shut the fuck <laughs> up, you little bitch. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I'm not about to assault you and go to jail. I got shit to lose. Unlike you, you're out here with no job, just walking around recording people, bitch ass. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> fuck you. All right. <laughs> so are you gonna donate or are you gonna sign a you're release? You're the beta wearing a mask, dude. A beta wearing a mask? Yeah, betas wear masks. Bro, then why don't you put me in my place? I'm talking to you like an alpha. What hey, you gonna do? If this was like 200 years ago, I would love to, bro, but... That's crazy, because it's can't. 2021. Yeah, you I totally can, could, you but you're not. You can't just fight people like, on the street. You're a I pussy. Wish I wish we could, dude. Pussy. I really wish pussy. we could. Pussy. But we can't do it. Pussy. That. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, keep wearing that mask. I will. <laughs> yeah. Stupid bitch. See ya.